And as Georgians turn out in droves to vote early, candidates are looking toward the pews to get ballots in their favor. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Bellamy. And thanks for joining us as well. I'm Jonathan Martin in tonight for Ron Jones. More than one million Georgians casting their votes early and it's only the first week of early voting. The big voting number is coming and the big push coming as both major presidential candidates are planning more visits in Metro Atlanta showing just how much power Georgia has this election cycle. Former President Donald Trump will be at a Gwinnett County event and Vice President Kamala Harris will be joined by Usher for a rally tomorrow. Then she's expected to attend a church service at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church on Sunday. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is at the DeKalb election, quarter, head, election headquarters. Rather, Joe, how do black churches play a role in presidential elections here? Yeah, well, first, we're here at DeKalb County's election headquarters. A few folks trickling in with less than an hour to go today in early voting. So historically, black churches have played a critical role in educating voters and getting them to actually go to the polls. Meantime, over at New Birth, they're undergoing security screenings ahead of Vice President Kamala Harris's visit, and she plans to speak about breast cancer awareness. There might be some other issues on the platform as well. Maggie Green heads to the polls in part to pay homage to her ancestors. I didn't have that privilege when I was a young girl growing up in Mississippi. And my mother and father didn't have that privilege. And I cry because it was a struggle for them to vote. From past struggles, enduring name calling and voter suppression to casting her vote today. I'm a sharecropper's daughter. I came from that era where my parents and everybody in the community would leave the cotton field, go to the church and talk about their rights. Both presidential candidates will look to the pews to drive people to the polls this election. We are welcoming Kamala Harris as vice president, uh, not as uh, a candidate. Reverend Jamal Bryant is senior pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, where Vice President Kamala Harris is set to visit Sunday. We have a moral and a biblical and a spiritual responsibility uh, to let uh, the community know what is at stake and what's on the line. I think it's helpful to to encourage people to vote, you know, um, especially in the church. Caleb Gordon understands the role the church has played over time, especially when it comes to exercising civil rights. Black men can always vote at one time. I think I said that earlier too. Um, I think that's even more reason why we should vote and take advantage of it. Um, I don't look at people any differently because of how they vote. Maggie Green knows about the sacrifices made so voters could stand in line and make their voices heard. She says the important part is that people go out and vote. And they died for us. So get out and go and vote. It's your privilege. It's your right. Earlier this summer, former President Trump spoke at a church service in Detroit, Michigan, Michigan being another key swing state that could help decide the outcome of this 2024 presidential election. I did ask earlier, uh, Pastor Bryant, would he be open to inviting the former president to speak at his church? He said, Mr. Trump is welcome. We're live in DeKalb County. Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.